Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is Wednesday and instead of doing a normal midweek peak video like I did the past two weeks, I decided I will do a tag video this time. And I decided that I will start with the anti-TBR tag. Let me explain what an anti-TBR tag is for those of you who don't know what it is. You know that I love works and most of you here who are watching me also love books and you love talking about books. We love talking about books that we love and we love talking about authors that we adore and you know new releases, exciting book news etc and that's why we are here to discuss all those. And while most of the times we are concentrating on books that we love, I think it's okay that we take some time out to discuss you know books that we don't love as well or don't like as well or authors that we don't like and that's what this whole tag is all about this tag was originally created by nicole from nicole anna books uh, i will link her channel in the description so go and check her out she has an amazing interesting channel as well honestly there are so many thousands of books out there which we will not definitely go through in a, a single lifetime so it's okay that you know uh, to not like some books it's okay that uh, you know you decide that you're not going to read that book or read that genre or read that author because it doesn't suit your taste and uh, i hope none of you get offended uh, if any of your favorite books or favorite authors or favorite genres mentioned here. It is nothing to do with you guys. It's all about my taste and, and it's a very subjective uh, topic. Things that I love um, you might hate and things that you adore I might completely you know hate and disregard. So it's like I said, it's completely subjective. Um, I hope you don't get offended. My previous videos, you got to know my likes. And in this video, you will get to know my dislikes and the reasons behind them. So without further ado, let's get into it. If you don't know me already, my name is Angela, your own bookholic brown name. As told in the intro, today we will be talking about books that I don't want to read. You're still here even after my two intros. That means you're really interested in my content. So go ahead and subscribe to my channel and also please like and share to like-minded, book-reading, book-loving people. Question number one in the anti-TBR book tag is a popular book everyone loves that you have no interest in reading. And for me, it is a book by, it's called From Blood and Ash, From Blood Fire. Wait, I need to check that out. Mm, yeah, it is From Blood and Ash uh, series by Jennifer L. Armentrout. Uh, and this is a book that I've been seeing anywhere and everywhere, especially on Bookstagram. It has a beautiful, wonderful cover. Kudos to that. But apart from that, uh, I don't think I'm going to read this book because I've heard that this book is suitable for people who love, uh, you know, Sarah J. Maas and I do not like her books because nothing to do with her but basically I'm not a fan of fantasy romance so because of that reason I don't think I will read this book and the second book that I'm definitely not going to read and is also a popular choice among many readers uh, especially in India is Fifty Shades of Grey and for obvious reasons so that's question number one Question number two is a classic book or author you don't have an interest in reading. I do not like to be in the sea, in a ship, in a boat, basically the sea. I, I don't mind rivers, lakes, waterfall, etc. But sea is something that I am extremely scared of. Uh, I've been uh, on the ship twice, I think, and both the times I was petrified and I got seasick. Keeping that in mind, I think... For me, the pick for a classic book that I will not read is Moby Dick. And I know it is an American classic. It is a part of the huge American renaissance. Uh, but for me, the plotline as such, because it's entirely based in the sea, I think uh, it, it was not that appealing to me. And also the story felt very dry when I read the synopsis in Wikipedia, etc. Because I was so interested in uh, people gushing about this classic. And then when I checked uh, uh, the plot line or the summary it was not that interesting for me especially I know there are a lot of uh, philosophical uh, and deep questions that are uh, asked uh, you know uh, by the protagonist or basically by the plot itself but 
anyway it doesn't interest me in any sense at all and uh, the other is uh, a catcher in the rye when i decided to do the anti tbr tag i wrote down the questions and i wrote the answers down and then i went back and watched uh, videos of other booktubers and that's when i realized that there were so many books that i have written down that were common among uh, you know all of us and that this is one of those book which is a catcher in the rye i started reading this but it was quite dull the first 20 pages and i dnf'd it so i think that's another classic that i will not read a catcher in the rye third question an author whose book you have no interest in reading this is going to be <laughs> a controversial answer um so I'm going to tell you upfront, it has nothing to do with you guys who love this author. It's just my personal taste. What he writes doesn't suit my expectations and that would be Stephen King. I have read three books of Dark Tower. I loved and adored those three books. And around book four, I felt the plot line was very stretched and I felt that it was not going anywhere. So what I did was a very bad thing. I went ahead and read the ending like the synopsis and the reason why I decided to go ahead and skip to the end or at least to go and read the synopsis and understand what the ending is is because there has been so much talk about the ending and controversy around the ending so many fans of Stephen King himself or the books uh, the Dark Tower series uh, itself uh, so many of them uh, were so disappointed and uh, upset about the ending so that's the reason I actually decided that hey I'm on book four and I'm already feeling kind of not that interested should I, should I DNF it or not and that's why I went ahead and checked uh, you know the ending and uh, uh, I think it was rewarding that I did it because I didn't again waste some of my time on reading the rest of the books after that I, I did read thinner um, guys I don't know it's not my kind of book and I think I will not read uh, um, you know his books as much as I adore him for his influence in making people read his books as such is not of interest to me particularly the, so the third question which I'm answering now has a subsection kind of a second part to it uh, and the question goes like this a problematic author whose books you have no interest in reading um <laughs> i want to say jk rowling uh but i don't know i love harry potter so much i love the entire world uh so much uh that i don't think i will stop reading harry potter at any point in time uh maybe i'll not give any more of my coins to her uh because she is rich enough for that uh but i might reread what i already have but Currently, keeping that fact aside, if you ask me a problematic author, I think it would be Isaac Asimov. I've heard so many bad things about him, uh, his uh, way of treating women around him and him being nonchalant about it and unapologetic about it uh, is something that is something that I cannot forgive about him and I don't think I will ever read his books for that particular reason. If you don't know what I'm talking about, please go and check his Wikipedia or just any news regarding him and why he is controversial, you will get to know. But uh, I don't think that uh, I condone those kind of behaviors and uh, I don't want to spend my coins on somebody who was like that. I mean, yeah, he's not alive anymore, but still. I'm not going to read his books. So that was second part of question number three. Fourth question is an author you have read a couple of books from and have decided their books are not for you. Couple of books, huh? Okay, I think one is Patrick Rothfuss. Um, don't beat me up now. I know there are a lot of fans for the King Killer Chronicles. Uh, but I read um, The Name of the Wind and... Um, to be frank, I went into this book series with so much of expectations because of the rave reviews the books were getting. Uh, but unfortunately, I did not like the book at all. I thought that something great was going to happen. Uh, you know, there will be more magic. But unfortunately, there was not much magic in it. And it more, mostly was a kind of a coming of age story rather than a fantasy story. And I was let down by that fact. Altogether, the story came off as very dry for me. And uh, I decided I will not read the second book. Unfortunately, I have bought the second book. Uh, maybe I might read it when there is nothing else to read. 
and I don't know what to do with it. Maybe I might just get rid of it during one of my unhaul videos. Uh, the second author in this category would be uh, Chetan Bhagat. Uh, most of the Indian readers might know him. Um, I have read two books of him um, and I think they were mediocre at best. I don't want to give my coins to somebody um, who is being celebrated as a great author when he is at best mediocre. And that would be a disservice that we do to the whole, um, you know, a whole realm of literature as such. I would love to see more and more amazing Indian authors coming up. And if that's the benchmark for being a good author, that's not a good example that we are setting as a book community as such. So that's the reason I do not think that I will read or promote Chetan Bhakat as such. Um, but um, yeah, so that's question number four. On to question number five, a genre you have no interest in or a genre you try to get into and couldn't. So I have two answers for this. First one is romance. Um, I don't like, you know, books which are solely uh, romance based. I would love to, I'd really love reading romance when it is incorporated into a good thriller or a good mystery story or a good fantasy story. But a book as such only dedicated to romance, it's not my cup of tea. Don't mistake me, in real life I am a romantic. I do love romantic uh, gestures and things like that. But again, just like in life, you know, life is just not romantic. There are other things going on in life. So then it, you know, is bearable so <laughs> so yeah i don't like that as such uh, and the second um genre which i'm not that much into reading as such is horror like i said i don't relate to stephen king books and the reason why i do not could be that the genre horror as such is not that appealing to me but i do love watching a good horror show it's just the reading part of it like uh, i really love the haunting of hill house it's one of my all-time favorite favorite horror show and i really loved it it was so beautiful and atmospheric <clears throat> as long as there is an interesting story tagging along with the whole theme of horror so these are the two genres that i don't think i have much interest in Question number six, a book you have bought but will never read. This can be a book you have unhauled, uh, returned to the library unread. Um, for me, again, for this, I have two answers. It seems like I have two answers for everything. Is that a reflection on my life? Hmm. Anyhow, the first book that I want to mention here, um, a book which I have bought and will never read is uh, The Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. Um, I bought it because I was a huge, huge fan of Harry Potter series. And then once I bought it and then I started reading it, it was so boring and it was so stretched. It was so lagging uh, that I lost interest. Then I went to book review community and I found out that the book as such is not that interesting and people generally dislike the book. So yeah, that's book one. Um, and the second book is uh, a book series in fact uh, and when I bought it I didn't know it was a YA series uh, and this is a Divergent series by Veronica Roth. Uh, yeah, I am not that interested in uh, a YA dystopian kind of uh, series. Maybe I will gift it to any of my younger cousins or, or my friends, kids, somebody who might be interested. Question number seven, a series you have no interest in reading or a series you started and have DNF'd. So I have, uh, I think this is um, a two-part question again. I think I have answers to both part of the question. A series you have no interest in reading would be a book that I've always been seeing everywhere uh, on Bookstagram. It is A Coat of Thorn and... Um, Okay, I need to Google that. Um, it is Sarah J. Maas's book. Uh, Sarah J. Maas. Uh, Throne of Glass series. I have no interest in reading. But that's because maybe it's not uh, targeted for my age group. So, yeah. It's maybe nothing to do with the book as such. Maybe 
it is so hugely popular and then I see it everywhere and I have no interest in reading it. Uh, and the second part of the question is, or a series that you have started and DNF DNF'd. Now, I have already mentioned this. It's the Dark Tower series by Stephen King. Um, I read the first three books uh, on Kindle and it. I really, really, really loved for one, two, and three. But when I reached part four or book four, I was... Um, not that interested and I felt like the story was not going anywhere. It was unnecessarily being, uh, you know, stretched. And I mean, I love Roland S. Jane. I love the journey that he had. I love even the, the Man in Black. Uh, but uh, somehow at some point I just lost interest and yeah, I had to stop it. But again, I have to reiterate, I really, really loved book one, two, and three. So if you are a fan of dark fantasy coupled with horror and science fantasy and uh, uh, western um, uh, plot themes then go for it. it it might be for you but for me it didn't work at all after book four so yeah that was question number seven the last question in this book tag video is uh, a new release you have no interest in reading i've already mentioned this book series so this is the book three of the king killer chronicle series uh, by patrick rothfuss I'm really not going to buy this book or read this book i do know that in the booktuber community especially among the popular booktubers this book is extremely um you know popular they love this book they stand this book and they're re really looking forward to book three but for me i this book did not speak to me you know like christina aguilera says it didn't rub me the right way <laughs> It was uh, kind of a bummer. Uh, I actually was so excited seeing the reviews and how people were gushing over this book and uh, and when I picked it up and read it and I was like expecting things to happen. Um, something like how it was for me while reading the um, Lies of Locke Lamora because the first 50 or 100 pages of Lies of Locke Lamora were also quite similar uh, to Patrick Rothfuss' book, uh, King Killer. Uh, book one uh, the, um, there was a lot of plot setting going on you know there was the author was setting up the plot background for the story to progress and i was expecting something exciting to happen like in lies of Locke lamora but unfortunately it didn't happen in king conica and i was so disappointed the way book one entered with i did not get anything from book one so that you know it pushes me to read book two uh, so definitely I'm not looking forward to book three as well. So like Christina Aguilera says, the book did not rub me the right way. So that was the last question. So guys, that was my anti-TBR book tag. I hope you liked it. Please engage with me in the comment section and also let me know the kind of books that you don't want to read or your anti-TBR list. I would be interested to know. Until next video, this is me, Angela, signing off. Ta-da!